What's up guys, it's Justin here. Today we're checking out something that I think would be great for the summer and it is a set of lenses from Moment. In fact, it's the V2 line of lenses including the wide angle, the macro, and they also make it in a zoom and fisheye as well. I've always been someone who has been really skeptical about using smartphone camera lenses because they're more often than not going to degrade the quality of your photos and that's definitely not something I want. I did see Casey Neistat recommend these a while back though, so I've been following Moment as a company for a couple years now and I've always wanted to check out their stuff. So thankfully they sent me their new V2 line and I've really enjoyed it in the whole month I've had it. If you guys would also like to see me do a video comparing smartphone lenses at significantly different price points, go ahead and leave a like on this video, drop a comment down below letting me know, and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. So it's the summertime now, and I hope a lot of you guys are heading outside regularly and possibly traveling and taking a ton of great photos. Although you're probably used to seeing me indoors every single day for all my videos on Instagram, there's another side of me that kind of wants to head out and go for a bit of a road trip, possibly go to Iceland. That is definitely on my bucket list and kind of record a travel documentary based on photography, technology, and also a car. So maybe by the end of summer, I might want to do a road trip and I think these lenses will come in very handy. So if there's any car companies out there that want to team up, go ahead and send me an email. In the past month though, I've been to LA twice and also to Toronto as well. And for all of these trips, I actually didn't bring a dedicated camera with me because it's just too stressful in my opinion to have to deal with all the equipment and carry it around. So I brought my iPhone 7 and 7 Plus and I believe the cameras on these are more than capable for doing social media in general. We've been saying for so many years now that the best camera is the one that you have with you and I think it's totally true because in 2017, most flagship smartphones have cameras that are at a caliber that can definitely compete with digital SLRs when it comes to just social media sharing. Of course, if you're printing your images, then it's a whole other story. What the Moment Lens does is allow you to use that very same smartphone camera and add an extra layer of versatility, whether it's getting further from your subject, zooming into it, getting a nice macro shot, or just a cool effect through fisheye. Depending on the phone you own, you have the option to use it with the case, for example, on the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, and they also offer a set of mounts as well for other smartphones. The case itself though is very well thought out and I would normally complain about the fact that this accessory needs a case just for it, but as a standalone case, I think there is pretty much nothing I can complain about, but it is subjective to whether or not you like the way it looks. It has a nice rubberized feel, a lay on the table lip on the front, the buttons are still very tactile, and you also have a patch on the back that is textured and comes in a walnut and canvas option, which is both beautiful in my opinion. I personally really like the canvas and it also adds some nice grip to your device as well. As for the way the lenses are set up though, I think Moment has done a very good job in engineering this into the case. And there's a custom mount that is seamlessly put into the camera section that allows you to just screw on the Moment lens in seconds. The metal to rubber construction here with the lens to case is very durable and I've been using it for about a month now and I've definitely taken off lenses quite a few times and just as a regular way. I wasn't particularly careful with it and it's held up just fine so I think that'll definitely stand the test of time. The good thing about the custom case for the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus though is that they've made it so that the lens elements of the moment lens is the perfect distance away from the sensor of your smartphone lens. That way it works just as it should every single time. With the new redesigned V2 lens, they've worked on the visual elements that has brought forward some improvements in the quality. The 18 millimeter wide angle lens is personally my favorite because using the iPhone 7 Plus as a daily driver, I have a 28 millimeter and 56 millimeter field of view covered. But by taking the moment lens around with me, I have the wide, normal, and 2X field of view completely covered. From looking at the images here with and without the lens that I captured over the past month, you could see that there is no vignetting on the edges, there is no weird distortion. And when zoomed in and trying to pixel peep, I didn't notice any degradation when it comes to the image quality using the moment lens, which is really impressive. That is literally the most important thing in my opinion because if there's any noticeable issues in terms of the quality in an image, then I'm probably never gonna use the lens again. Since it is a wide angle lens within a spherical element, it does work best when level with the subject because if you start to pan or angle upwards or downwards, you might notice a bit of warping there just because of the nature of the lens. This is something that is especially noticeable when it comes to video. For general video recording though, and just walking around and doing landscapes, I really liked using this lens. It looked really good and you could see the before and after from these samples. 
I absolutely love the camera on my iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, but there are times where I just can't get far enough from a subject to get a good photo and get everything in frame. So the 18 millimeter lens helps solve that problem and being someone who really liked the wide angle on the LG G6 but didn't like the phone itself, this is a way to solve that problem and give my camera three fields of view in the event that I'm using the iPhone 7 Plus. The lens itself is very well built, made out of metal, and it also has the flower design that ensures that the lens itself does not touch any surfaces when you're putting it on the table. And I've also included a custom lens cap and microfiber pouch to take it around with you and also clean the lens. And the only major complaint I have with the wide angle lens is that it is relatively heavy because of the glass elements and also substantial in terms of size. It definitely adds a lot to the corner of the phone, but if you're an Instagram photographer using your smartphone, then it's definitely worth the trade off taking it around with you. The second lens that I checked out was a Super 10X Macro, and this allows you to get so close to your subject to the point where I thought it wasn't working in some situations because I just wasn't close enough to the object. You're able to zoom into details like never before, as you can see in these images, and it is tack sharp, which really surprised me. The removable diffuser definitely helps out when it comes to taking images using this because it kind of just closes in on the edges, and it also sets an optimal distance as to how close you should be to your subject. So I found myself going right up to the subject and blanketing it with my diffuser. This is not one of the lenses that I'll be using as much as the wide angle, but just from looking at the samples here, it is impressive. And if that's your thing, then I think this is something you should definitely check out. The macro lens is also significantly lighter than the wide angle lens, but they're two completely different lenses. So that wraps things up for my look at the Moment V2 lenses for smartphones and also the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus custom mounting case, which I definitely suggest you get if you're an owner of a smartphone that is compatible. And when it comes down to image quality, I can say that I have no complaints whatsoever when it came to that category. And they didn't pay me to say that or anything. They literally just sent me these lenses and told me to try them out. The results were impressive and I was surprised myself, even though I've already heard great things of Moment products in the past. The only relative complaint I have is that these come in at some pretty high price points of $100 and $90 respectively. So many people aren't going to want to spend that amount of money on a smartphone camera lens. But if you're someone who takes a lot of photos on their phone and plan to take this around with you, then I would say go ahead and spend that money and you're likely not going to look back. If you guys would like to see me do a video comparing smartphone lenses at significantly different price points, go ahead and leave a like on this video and drop a comment down below. But otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.